and this is cardio and tone. Today, we'll be working on getting that heart rate up and sustaining that heart rate, trying to burn some calories, trying to work on strengthening our cardiovascular system. But what's important here is that you're moving at your own pace. If you're not trying to keep up with me, I might encourage you to try and put a little bit more into it and increase that intensity. But really, you're moving at your own pace. If you look over to the side and your neighbor is moving a little bit more, a little bit bigger, that's fine. You do what works for you. You might start to breathe a little bit hard. You might even start to sweat. And that would be a great thing. But if you're feeling any kind of pain in your legs and your ankles and your calves, then just stop. Take a break, rest. You can stop standing. You can stop while your feet is whatever you need to do. So we're not going to be using any weights today. All of the movements that we're doing are with your own body weight. So let's go ahead and get started by standing. My chair over to the side so you can see what my feet are doing. And let's start there with your feet. We want to find two dollars and put them between your feet. Keep your knees nice and soft. And let's find that string at the top of your head and pull it up, lifting and lengthening your spine. And from here, we'll start with our toe heel rock. So up on our toes, keeping those knees soft and back on the heel. Breathing easy, moving easy. Staying stable, staying strong. While we're doing this, though, let's challenge ourselves a bit with a little balance challenge. You can use your eyes to look up and down. If you want more of a challenge, you can use your whole head. Keeping in mind that the pace at which you move and the distance will make it even more challenging. Let's keep doing our heel toe rock. Bringing your eyes forward, let's change that balance to look to your left and your right. Right to your left. Again, use that head movement to finish what the issue is that challenge. The goal is to stay stable. Stay strong. Bring your eyes back to the front, feet flat on the ground, and you might want to bring your feet a little bit wider for our hip circle. Big circles around those hips. Move the not pelvis forward, back, side to side. Feel that weight shift through your feet. From the front to the back, instep to the outstep. Now let's reverse those circles. The biggest circles you can make, keeping those feet flat on the ground. Taking your time, moving easy and breathing. Good, let's stay nice and tall and move into our side sit. Let's take our left hand and bring it down your left leg as that right arm reaches over. The same on the other side. Feel the stretch, hold the stretch, and move to the other side. If your shoulder doesn't feel well, you can just reach across. Breathe easy. Pulling up those bones. And open up your rib cage with your movement and with your breath. And let's do two more on the side. Reaching your fingers to the other side of the room and down to the ground. Take your time. Feel that stretch. Hold that stretch. Then move to the other side. Good. We stand tall, bringing your thumbs back to your armpit and you're swimming with our elbows. We're making 
the biggest circles or the biggest groans that you can with your elbows. And then the elbow back is up for squares. Good. And back stroke. Same thing. We're trying to move these shoulders as much as they will move. In all directions they will move. Good, we're going to shake that out. Let's find two dollars again to the your feet. And we'll move into our open book. So we're bringing our hands up, but keeping those shoulders down. One hand stays in front, and we follow the other hand as far around as we can. Opening up our chest, rotating to the spine, bring my hand back to the front. And do the same on the other side. On your eyes and follow your hands as far around as you can see it. Opening up your chest. This is that rotation through your middle back. Pull that string at the top of your head and squeeze it as tall as you can, and then two inches more. Doing your best not to lean forward or back. Side. Let's do two more on each side. Relax those shoulders. Take your time. Open up your chest. Stand tall. Good. Let's do two more on each side. Go ahead and shake it out. And we're going to move into our lateral leg lifts and donkey kicks. So again, we're here with two dollars between our feet. Starting with our lateral leg lifts, we're shifting our weight over to one side and keeping the shoulders level. From here, we raise that opposite leg and control it back down. We're doing five on each side. And our goal here is to keep your shoulders level. Doesn't matter to me how high your foot raises, but that the shoulders are level and we're controlling that leg back down. Once you've done five on one side, go ahead and do five on the other. Keep that string tight at the top of your head. Keep your shoulders level. Once you're done with your lateral leg raises, go ahead and shake out those hips a little. And we'll move on to our donkey kick. So, $2 to the feet, shift the weight. We're bringing our knee forward and those toes up to the ceiling. Press the heel straight back. Raise the knee forward, press that heel straight back. Standing tall. Keeping your chest up, and we're doing five here as well. Once you've done those five, shake it out and do the same on the other side. Hold it straight, shift the weight, keep the shoulders level, take that heel straight back. Chest is up, trying not to break up in the chest. Keep your foot flat. No floppy feet here. Toes up. Once you're done with those five, shake it out. You might have to put maybe two fifty or three dollars between your feet here with the next two exercises. Our hip hinge and our hip dip. So for our hip hinge, all the action happens here at the hip. We're keeping the knees nice and soft. So we're pulling our shoulders back. Your chin comes forward and your hips move back. Feel the stretch, hold the stretch, press through your heels and stand tall. Let's do that five times. Chin forward, hips back. Hold that stretch, press through your heels. Good. Make sure you're keeping your eyes up. Breathing easy. Take your time. 
Ready? And step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Camel, let it go. Cow. Camel. Twice more. Cow. Camel. Cow. And camel. Good. Shake that out. Wiggle and shake. And let's continue to focus on your breath. So, today we're doing four exercises. And we're going to try and do those four exercises for three rounds. We're doing the work for 30 seconds and then taking a bit of a break or a recovery for 20 seconds. Your heart rate is still going to be up. We're trying to push that strength of your cardiovascular system. It's okay to breathe heavy, okay? Um, it's okay to sweat and feel warm. From a scale of one to 10, 10 being the hardest work that you've ever done, and one being a simple, breezy walk in the park, you should be feeling like you're working at about a six or a seven. So it's some good, solid work where we feel those muscles engaging, your heart pumping, and your breath start to increase a little bit more. And we wanna try and maintain that through all of the exercises, and through all three rounds. But again, if you need to take more of a break, if you need to recover a little bit more before moving on, that is absolutely fine. So let me show you what those four exercises are going to be today. Exercise number one is our sit to stand. The sit to stand, exactly what it sounds like. We'll start seated and then we stay and we back down. Pushing through our heels, keeping your head up, keeping your chest up. We stand tall and come back down nice and easy. Now, if you'd like to modify and not stand, then it's our double tier case. Both feet come up, control the feet back down. Come up, control the back down. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is what I like to call in and out. This one, Standing, we step out and stretch those hands out as the hips dip back. Pull everything in, step out on the other side. Hands out, pull back in. We go out and in, out and in. If we modify this and do it seated, we're stepping out with the leg, hands reach out, bringing everything back in. Out, in, out, in, out. That's exercise number two, in and out. Number one, sit to stand. Number two, in and out. Number three is our overhead sit up. We did this one in our warm up. Hands are up. We go back, place and easy, keeping that spine in the line. Sit up, hands up. Overhead sit up. Number one. Sit to stand. Number two, in and out, out and in. Number three is our overhead sit up. And number four is going to be quick feet. Basically, it's running in place. If you're seated, we're pumping the arms, picking up the knees, picking up the toes. If you're standing, same thing. Pump the arms, pick up the knees, pick up the toes. All right, those are our four exercises. We're doing each for 30 seconds, 20 seconds of recovery in after each one, and a minute and a half of a rest between each round. So here we go. Round number one. Let's start with exercise number one, which is this is the stand. That's right. Feet are nice and wide. We're keeping our head up. We're doing a double chair kick if you'd like to modify. 30 seconds of work. Three, two, one, go. You're moving at your own pace, not mine. I've been waiting. Keep your head up, pull those shoulders back, and stand as tall as you can. Press through those heels. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You've got less than 10 seconds left. And time. 
Good work. That's 30 seconds of work right there. Now we have 20 seconds of recovery for exercise number two, which is our in and out. You can stay standing for this or be seated. Up to you. I'm going to start standing. Here we go. In and out. In three, two, one, go. We step out, hands out. A little dip of the hips. Keep your head up. Weight in the heels, always. Hands go out front, and we're squeezing our shoulders back. And you've got 10 seconds more of work right here. Step, shift that weight, even weight between those feet. And time. Good job. Move a little bit. Breathe a whole lot if you need. Now we have exercise number three. And what's that exercise? It's our overhead sit up. So we just flat on the ground and bring the hands up. And we go in three, two, one, go. Hands up, shoulders down. Moving at your own pace. You might still be breathing heavy from the exercise before. That's fine. Keep breathing. Keep this pace if you can. Or go ahead and slow down so we can maintain. You got just five seconds left. In time. Good job. So, round number one, we're at our last exercise now. And that's exercise number four, which is quick feet. Again, we can see the standing. It's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and stand. And we are going to move in three, two, one, go. Up to the arms. Picking up the knees, picking up the feet. Let's keep the feet wide. Got chairs, feet got a wide today. Toes up. Keep moving. We've got 10 seconds here. Move those arms. Keep your head up. Three, three, three. And time. Good work. Breathe a little bit, move a little bit. We want that blood pressure to come down, but we don't want it to come down quickly. Walk it out, wiggle the shape. And we've got about 30 seconds or so until we start our second round. Okay, find your breath. Breathe with your belly, not your shoulders. Let's try to recover and get ready for that second round. So, Three rounds today. That first round, I kind of consider our warm up round. We know what we're doing, we know how to move, and we know the feeling that we're going to experience. So, if you can for the second round, let's try to pick up the intensity a little bit. Okay? But at the very least, you can the same intensity that we just did for round number one. Now, again, on a scale of one to ten, 10 being the hardest work that he's ever done, and one being a breezy walk in the park, we should be working at about a six or a seven and feeling that work through the whole round at a six or a seven. All right. Everyone looks good. You look good. Let's keep on working. Round number two. I'm keeping it easy for you. Let's go ahead and start with exercise. Number one, which is sit the stand or double chair chair. All right, for the second round, I'm going to do the modified versions of each exercise. You can do whatever your choice is. Here we go. Round number two, exercise number one, three, two, one, go. Double chair kick or sit the stand. It's up to you. This second round, we'll do an all modified version. Pulling that string tight, whether you're standing or you're sitting. Keeping your own pace. You have about 10 seconds left. And that scale of 1 to 10, let's work at a 6 or a 7. Nice and tall and time. Good 
Good work. Breathe and move. All right, exercise number two is in and out. Out and in. However, you want to say it, let's go ahead and do it. Here we go. Whether you're seated or standing, I do the modified version. Let's move in three, two, one, move. Out, going back in. Head up, chest up, knees up, shoulders back. Let's get equal weight to both feet. Sitting tall, standing tall. We got less than 10 seconds to work now. Good work, keep moving, keep breathing. And time. Good job. Take it out. Move, move, move. Three, three, three. And let's get ready for exercise number three, which is overhead sit up. So we're all seated. Pulling the shoulders down, hands up. And let's move in three, two, one, go. Sit up, hands up. Hands up, shoulders down. Pull that string tight at the top of your head and keep on breathing. Good work here. And you've got 10 seconds left. Moving at your own pace, working at your own sister's balance. And time. Good job. Okay, now, smooth and wiggle, wiggle and shake. Exercise number four, our last exercise this round is quick feet. All right, I'm doing a modified version. Here we go. We're moving three, two, one, come the yard. Pick up the knees, pick up the toes. Good job. Breathe with the belly. 
Let's go ahead and move to exercise number three, which is our overhead sit up. Let's find your seat before you get down. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring your hands up, shoulders down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hands up, shoulders down. Working on your own six or seven. We're really pushing it if we're working at a two. Take your pace down if you feel like you're at a nine or a ten. Sit up, hands up. Ten seconds here. Good work. Five seconds. Keep moving. Keep breathing. And time. Good job. Breathe. Breathe. Move a little bit. In 10 seconds, we've got a final exercise in this final round, and it's our quick sheet. You can do it seated or standing. It's up to you. Here we go. Final exercise. Three, two, one, go. Pump the arms. Keep the feet wide. Head up. Pick up those toes. Good work. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep wide. Get those arms loose. Final round. This is our final 10 seconds. Come. Toes up. Knees up. Five seconds. In time. Keep moving. Let's stay standing. For our cool down, breathe, breathe, breathe. Find your seat. Make sure it's within a hand's reach. Let's breathe with the belly. Finding your breath. And let's find that string at the top of your head. Let's shift our weight over, pick up that right foot. Let's do circles to the right. Take your time. We're not on the clock anymore. This is about quality. Recovery. Take those belly breaths. And relax. Let's go over to the left foot and do ankle circles to the left. Find your breath and pull it down. And relax. Back over to that right foot. Circle to the left this time. Pull that breath all the way down to your belly. Relax your jaw, your neck, and your shoulders. And relax. Last one. That left foot, circle to the left. And relax. Let's go ahead and have a seat. And let's try to release that tension through your jaw, your neck, and your shoulders. Let's drop your ear down to your shoulder, your chin to your chest, and other ear to other shoulder. Chin down. And let's move your head from ear to ear. Rolling from shoulder to shoulder. Relax those shoulders. And head up, eyes up. Let's open up your arms. Give yourself a big hug. Drop your elbows down, drop your chin. Breathe. And look up. One more time, let's open up your arms. And flip flop, other arm on top, elbows down, drop your chin. And look up. Let's move forward in your chair. And now we'll do the opposite. So hands hold on to the back of your chair. You're squeezing your shoulder blades together and raise your chin up to the ceiling. And relax. Let's do this one more time. Open up your chest and fill up your lungs. And 
and relax. You should have some good space between your feet, good space between your knees. Let's maintain the space between your knees, bringing your hands over to the left side of your chair and turn it as far as you can to the left. Try to look over that back shoulder. And back to the middle. Hands to the right, turn to the right. Keep that space between your knees. And back to the middle. One, one more time. Hand to the left, turn to the left. Shoulders down, head up. And back to the middle. And hand to the right, turn to the right. Keep the knees apart. Look over that back shoulder. And back to the middle. Let's take your left hand and put it behind your back. Relax those shoulders, look to your left, drop, or your right, excuse me, drop your chin down to the back. And look up. Keep looking to your right. We'll do it again. Take a big breath in. Breathe out and drop your chin. Good, and let's go back to the front. Now the same on the other side. That's your left hand behind your, your right hand. Your right, my left, behind your back. Let's look to your left and drop your chin down to your chest. And look up. We're doing it again. Let's take a big breath in. Breathe out and drop your chin. And look up. Stretch out your left leg. Bring your heel to the ground. Pull your toes back. Let's work on keeping our legs straight and keeping those toes pulled back throughout the stretch. Doesn't matter to you if you touch your toes. Let's just work on those two things. Ready? Let's get a salt. Reach for your thigh, your knee, your calf, your toes, back to your calf, knee, thigh, and up. Again, back, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, back, twice more, back, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, back, last time, back, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, back, and other side. Heel down, toes back, work on keeping that leg straight. Here we go, over to your side. Knee, calf, toes, back to your calf. Knee, side, and up. Again, back. Knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, side. Twice more, back. Knee, calf. Toes, calf, knee, thigh, last time, thigh, knee, calf, toes, calf, knee, thigh. Hey, great job. Thanks for joining all of us here today, and I'll see you some other time. Take care.